All right, Aquatic Keepers, coming to you again. I know it's been a long time. It's been over a year since I showed y'all a new update on this tank. But this time, I didn't clean it up or anything. I'm showing it to you just the way it looks. Um, I actually haven't did a water change on this tank in about a month and a half, maybe two. Um, I forget exactly the last time. I lost a lot of my tracking stuff because I went through about three phones since the last time I messaged y'all. A lot of stuff has happened. Um, but yeah. So this is the tank. As you can see, the two clowns are still alive. Um, but a lot of the baby fish have, are the only things left. All the parents are gone. So, as you can see, that one looks like his dad, but he is a baby that's just grown up. A um, couple months after I did that, I think something I introduced to the cage, I lost two of the adult mollies. Um, and then over the past couple of, over the past year, all of them, once I, I took a good look at everyone, I realized that all of them had slowly, uh, dissipated um right now they're just waiting for me to feed them because i will sometimes give them food just randomly over their um automatic feeder i know it looks dirty back there but like i said this is just i didn't straighten up anything i'm just pointing and shooting and throwing this video up um marineland's still doing good i gotta get more Filters in there. It's just the Kimmy Kerr in there right now. Um, there we go. Yeah, it's just the uh, Kimmy Kerr in there. Take that off. Let me show you. Kimmy Kerr. And as you can see, it's getting old. It's turning pinkish. So I'm going to have to replace that. Um, probably got to go up to the store, but because of. You know, everything going on right now, the store is open on Mondays, which is, that's the day, today's Monday, um, and that's one of my days off, so I can't do that. Now, another update is I've turned this off. I did a deep clean on here and basically never plugged the thing back up to it. So, it's been off and just running, and the tank's doing fine. Nothing really changed. I need to kind of hurry up because the uh, Cheeto in there is, like, at the last bit of water. And that water's been in there since. It basically all evaporated from the line, if you can see it, where it was raised up to. It's, that's all evaporated from there, so, um, yeah, I'll have to clean that out. Um, I don't have the 10-gallon outside anymore. Got a new tank on that video coming soon. Maybe I'm kind of thinking about whether I'm going to actually showcase that one or not. Um, but yeah, as you can see, fish are doing good. I think all my invertebrates in here... Besides the Nasaria snail, because I think it's dirty enough in the substrate now. Because I clean around here and vacuum up the sand and stuff like that every now and then. And in the middle and stuff. Um, but I don't do in the middle here or in the back. So he has plenty of stuff in there to eat and stuff. Um, still have all the um, bristle stars in here. Um, those are just the overflow. There's probably a good bunch in there um of those um but yeah as you can see got all the baby fish that are not babies anymore they're not growing anymore but they seem to be doing good their growth probably got stunted somehow um because they were growing really good at one point and then they just stopped growing so i don't know i kind of think it was too many fish in the tank um but i didn't really have a place to put anybody so I kind of just left them in there 
I was going to take them some to the um, pet store eventually, but with everything going on, never got around to it. Um, but I will be, I kind of need a couple new things. I put this in here just because it was in a box in my room. It was supposed to be for my um, Hawaiian shrimp. I forget exactly what they're called. But the Hawaiian shrimp that I was going to get. If you remember in a past video. That and that little thing. And then I think there's a feather in it. Oh, that little purple thing that you probably you, know, you can see better over here. That little purple thing. Then there's like a feather and some other stuff. But they were all supposed to be in the um, thing. And I don't know why, but every time when I don't take care of this thing, it gets really purple like that. Like I want it to. But as soon as I probably clean it and stuff out, it's like the water light or something messes with it. And it's not purple like that anymore. It's only purple when it's dirty. It drives me crazy, but I'm going to have to clean out the pipes again and all that kind of stuff because you can see there's stuff growing everywhere um but i'm probably going to do a deep clean on this tank i'll make another video showing you the deep clean um i'm going to try to get back into doing this and bringing out videos again for you guys i know i haven't been a year but it's been a lot going on I've been trying to figure out things to do to um, get my income up so I can buy things because that was the biggest thing. Um, I'm also going to start doing, which really taking off on my channel, is the um, why did you buy that um, videos where I review things. So I'm going to do a lot more review videos. Um, if you haven't checked them out, look on my channel. I have ones on the Caribbean Sea Sand and the um, BSR Reef Saver Rocks um, on there. Tells you why I bought them. Some of the reasons aren't the reasons they're for, but I mean, you still, it's it's the reasons you can use them. So that's, that's the main thing that was for, because if you remember, if you know me, I'm unconventional. I do kind of what I can and it's mainly because out of necessity and money wise and a lot of other things but I always think outside the box I don't like to be in the box um, but yeah so that's basically what's been happening as you can see this thing was over here that plant was down in here in the corner is where I like it to be at I think this one, who likes to redecorate, moved it over here. Or, like, at least let it float over this way. So it's been like that for, like, a month. And I've kind of just left it. Because they also bite if I put my hand in the tank, if you remember. Um, they seem less aggressive lately. But I don't know if it's because we've been home or if it's just enough fish in the tank. And they kind of grew up with everybody in here now. So I think they don't bother them as much because they've grew up with them um because they were the ones they decided not to eat now i know they've been having babies my mollies have had babies and they've ate them still so they just decided not to eat those you can check out some of my other videos about my babies for that update on why i think that didn't happen um but i'm gonna let you guys go um, and, oh, quick updates. Um, I, I'm probably 98% sure I'm going to get a cleanup crew because to kind of help me with all this algae and stuff like this. I think my hermit crab died, so it's been really messy looking in my tank. And I kind of want to keep my walls clean because this stuff, every time, is getting harder and harder to scrape off. So, I'm going to scrape it off as good as I can, but there's probably still going to be more on there. Um, I'm going to see how bitey they are. I might have to catch them, but I will give you all an update video. It might be next Monday. It might be, um, you know, a couple days later. 
I don't know yet. Um, but I'm going to try to put out a video once a week. Once I start getting in the hang of doing this again. Alright. So, let me give y'all a full view of the tank. There's one. And there we go. So, that's the full tank right there. On everything and how we're all looking and stuff. Um, but, yeah. As you can see, everybody's happy moving around. Um, I just got to add a lot more things in here and make it look really, really nice. Alright, bye Aquatic Keeper. See you later.